have a date. Starring Betty White. Bill Williams Vals Gus Angel. Presented by Limo. Star of the Forward Look. And the Plymouth Dealers of America. The time? About eight months after Vicky and Gus Angel were married. The characters? Three strangers. The plot? Truth is stranger than friction. There'll be four of us, sir. Good evening. How are you? Come here, please, this way. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Clemson are on their way over. Thank you. Thank you. Aren't those caricatures great? There's Clark Gable. Where? Not about your skin like that. He's up there. Oh. <laughs> Look, sweetie. There's Lana Turner. And there's William Frawley. And there's Alan Ladd. Tallulah Bankhead. I didn't know you were so starstruck. Me? You? Oh, don't be silly. I'm not at all, and you know it. <laughs> I just think actors lead very interesting lives, that's all. Sure you do. <gasps> Gus! Huh? There's Liberace! Where is he? Don't look. Don't, 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 don't look. Honey, how can I see him if I don't look? Well, just don't be obvious. They don't like to be stared at. <laughs> so look up this wall to that beam as though you were looking at the pictures. <laughs> Now follow the beam across. <laughs> down the other side. Hello. Honey, will you tell me where he's sitting and never mind the radar? <gasps> he's getting up. Shh, don't look. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> well, that was nice of him to say hello. He doesn't know me. Who said hello? Liberace. He probably thought he knew me from someplace. Honey, I was sitting right here, and if he said hello to you, I'm Donald Duck. <laughs> We're going to join the agent. Wonderful to wait here for you. Hello, sweetie. Hi, uh, kid. Hey. Did you get a place to park? I made it. Guess who just said hello to Vicky? Liberace, no less. Vicky, did he really? Well, he must have thought I was somebody else. <laughs> he sure must have, because he said hello to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same, Gus. Wilma claims that Clark Gable waved at her once at a benefit. She forgets that Clark Gable was on the stage and she was in the last row of the Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> I don't ask you to believe me. We don't. We don't. <laughs> well, how do you do? Uh, I just ran out of gas in front of your house. Uh, uh, would you mind if I use your phone to call the auto club? I just ran out of gas in front of your house with... <laughs> Did I say something offensive? Oh, no, the, the phone. The phone's right over there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you are Dennis Day, aren't you? Yes, that's right. You know, it's funny how things happen just when you're in the biggest hurry. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Yeah, the auto club. Mm. Hello, uh, Auto Club. Say, uh, this is Dennis Day. I just... No, <laughs> Dennis Day. Day, D-A-Y. Yeah, that's right. Look, I ran out of gas on Filbert Street. Would you send some... 
Oh, um, uh, what's the address here, please? Oh, 1712 Filbert Road. Oh, um, uh, 1712 Filbert Road. Yeah, and will you please tell him to hurry? I'm due at a recording session in a half hour. Right. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, miss. Mrs. Mrs. Angel. Couldn't I fix you a cup of coffee or something? You have to wait anyway. Oh, gee, that's very nice of you. If it wouldn't be too much trouble, I'd like a nice glass of ice water. Ice water? Yeah. Ice water? Couldn't I fix you a sandwich? Oh, or no, no. Uh, ice water would be fine. Thank you. Just, Just ice water. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Pretty thirsty. Hi. Hi. You seem a little nervous. <laughs> I guess I just can't get used to the idea of Dennis Day in my house. I'm afraid I'm one of your fans, Mr. Day. Oh, don't be afraid of a thing like that. And incidentally, my fans call me Dennis. Oh, no, really. I, I have almost all your records. Yeah? You know, I know all about your, your wife and Peggy and your, your five wonderful children. Oh, Peggy's going to be glad to hear about the five kids. She thinks we have six. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say you were going to make a, a record. How do you go about picking a hit song, Mr. Day? I say you'll never call me Dennis unless I call you... Uh... Vicky. Oh, Vicky. Well, to uh, answer your question, Vicky, you know, I don't think anyone knows what really makes a hit record or a hit song or, or a hit anything, for that matter. I never thought of it that way. No, really, it's true, you know. It's a strange thing about show business, but you, you can't figure out what the public is going to like. I mean, what they're going to accept. You take, well, take Billy Williams. You know, for years he's been singing, and he finally made it with his wonderful record of that old standard. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And I'll make believe it came from you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. Oh, yeah, and I'll make believe it came from you. Oh, yeah, gonna make believe it came from you. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe the best way for me to get a hit might be to just, I don't know, change my style, stop being so legit, you know, and just let myself go, like, one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now, go, can't go, but don't you? <laughs> you can do anything but lay off the loose suede shoes. Oh, go, I go, I go, can't go, I go, I go, I go, can't go, I go, I go, I go, I go. Oh, oh, I got a seizure. Yeah, I hope that fellow with the gas shows up pretty soon because I'm sure to be late for the recording session. Oh, I wish my husband were here to hear this. <laughs> I know how busy you must be, Mr. Dave. Where do you ever find time to learn new songs? Well, I'll tell you, Vicky. You see, right now I'm up in Vegas and the orchestra up there, they made a recording for me, you know, without any lyrics. Well, what's the name of the song I want to buy out the minute it comes out? Well, it's a, it's a ballad. It's called Smile at Me and it... Hey, wait a minute. Vicky, would, would you listen to the song if I sang it for you? Me? I knew you would. Now, don't move. I'll be right back. I'll get the record. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you'll forgive me for stepping out of character for a really big moment. One I've been eagerly awaiting for weeks. For the many of you who have asked, what will the leader do next? I'm thrilled to present Plymouth's proud reply. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment.
Plymouth Legion everywhere. So meet the star of the show with brilliant new beauty revealed. Meet the star of the show. Star of all cars in the low price field is Plymouth. The big, beautiful new Plymouth. And it's simply wonderful. Star of the forward look. This is the luxurious four-door sedan. Isn't the new grill beautiful? Everything about this new Plymouth is years ahead. And this Plymouth Suburban is the biggest station wagon of them all. Designed for any kind of a job. It has more new exclusive features than any other station wagon in the low-priced field. A wonderful car to own and drive. And here's the new Plymouth convertible, just like mine. Never before has so much beauty and riding fun been built into any car. Just drive one. Yes, sir. One look, one ride, and you'll agree. There's no catching Plymouth now. Plymouth really is ahead for keeps. Plymouth, car that's ahead for keeps. Car that's ahead for keeps. Plymouth, star of the forward love. Now look. The lyrics of this song are all about Paris, so don't, why don't we just set a little mood, huh? You sit over here. Now, uh, let's just imagine that over here is the left bank, here is the Seine, and you are sitting in a little cafe, a little sidewalk cafe. You are waiting for me. Oh, yes, the moon is shining. Voila, see? Oh, you'll have to forget that you're married, Becky. Nothing personal, of course, you know, but my wife wouldn't want me carrying on with a married woman. <laughs> Anyway, here we go. Now, you are sitting at the sidewalk cafe. I approach. You are waiting for me. You see me approach. Allons avant de la batterie. Ah, you see me and you smile. No, no, you don't laugh. You smile. When you smile at me, smile at me. Paris soon becomes the lovely city it was meant to be. Smile at me, smile at me. And when you hold my hand, touch my hand, winter rain becomes champagne, and I am in a wonderland. Hold my hand, hold Care. Paris loves her lovers, have a care, or you will discover romance that you never knew. Hear her sighing, sighing, fall in love, fall in love. Other love surround you, look around you, and you'll fall in love, fall in love, too. Did you follow it, Vicky? Oh, that was just beautiful. Oh, wonderful. Look, now, hear the words, and you sing it. I'm not a singer. Oh, well, so much the better. Now, when the music comes around again, you join in. Come on. Oh, no. When you smile at me, smile at me, Paris soon becomes the lovely city 
it was meant to be. Smile at me, smile at me. And when you hold my hand, touch my hand. When the rain becomes champagne and I am in a wonderland. Hold my hand, hold my hand. But have a care, Paris loves her lover. Have a care, or, or you, you will, will discover romance. Listen, what do you think of the song? Oh, Dennis, I just love it. Well, at least that's one record I'll sell. Oh, <laughs> just... Here, she better take me. Oh, thank you. Oh, dear, Mr. Day was waiting for you. Mr. Day, uh, Dennis... Oh, I'll be right there. Gee, I'm awfully sorry to have to rush off like this, but, you know, I've got to do the record date and be back at Vegas for the dinner show. Tonight? Tonight. I tell you, it is no beer and skittles in the show business. Sure, you didn't. <laughs> Thanks for the ice water. Oh, thank you, Dennis. Goodbye. And the man from the auto club came right after we sang the duet, and Dennis left not five minutes ago. He, uh, he asked me to call him Dennis. Sounds wonderful, sweetie. <laughs> Well, I thought you'd get kind of a kick out of it. And Wilma, he asked for a glass of ice water. <laughs> Vicky, dear, don't you think... Ice water? <laughs> Honey, you sound a little skeptical. Oh, it, it, it's not that I'm skeptical, but I just wouldn't tell too many people, Vicky. The truth always sounds so... Right there, huh? <laughs> what happened after you gave him the ice water? Well, we got talking about hit records. You know how you do. And he was doing some impersonations of people who've made big records. <laughs> oh, he was so cute, honey. I wish I could remember. He was standing right here. <laughs> oh, what of all the money. He was going to say, he was going to say, young gook, I know. He was going to say, oh, he was wonderful. He really was. <laughs> Dennis Day did that? Naturally, he did a little better, but... <laughs> and then we sang a duet? Together? I know what a duet is. Ice water? <laughs> Ice water? Gossip, I can't tell you something. Whom can I tell? Oh, honey, I believe you. After all, why would you make up a story like that? Oh, thank you, darling. Let's keep the whole story just between the two of us, huh? <laughs> Why? Oh, what I meant was, don't tell the neighbors. It's a little hard to believe that Dennis Day was here. And... Special delivery for Mrs. Angel. Oh, thank you. I thought you were my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Freeway murder. I'll bet it is. <laughs> uh, did you have a nice day? Ah, so-so. 
What's new with you? Sabu stopped by to use the phone. <laughs> His elephant blew a trunk. That I believe. Oh? Oh, what? I thought you believed what I told you about Dennis Day. Honey, if you tell me he was here, that's good enough for me. Uh, honey, let's get dinner over with before Wilma and George get here. And, sweetheart, don't tell them this story. Yes, I won't tell them anything you don't want me to. Honey, uh, mm -hmm. do you want to answer this or should I? Not now, sweetheart. Wilma and George are... Dear Mrs. Angel, it just occurred to me that if I were not in show business and I came home from a hard day's work and my wife told me that Jimmy Durante stopped by and sang a duet with her, I'd hit her with a flounder. <laughs> I'm sending you a rehearsal record so you can sing your husband the song and prove it. Thanks again for the ice water. Sincerely, Dennis Day. Then he was here. <laughs> Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> Honey, listen to this. Now, you sit right there. Now, this is a song all about Paris, and you're in a little sidewalk cafe, and you're just sitting there waiting for me, and you're not married. Wait a minute. Come to think of it, yes, you are. <laughs> Smile at me, smile at me. Paris soon becomes the lovely city it was meant to be. Smile at me, smile at me. And when you hold my hand, touch my hand, winter rain becomes champagne and I am in a wonderland. Hold my hand, hold my hand. What have a care? Paris loves her lovers, have a care. Or you will discover romance that you never knew. Fall in love, other loves surround you, look around you, and you'll fall in love, fall in love Like it? Like it? Honey, if I could only... T Wait till Wilma and George hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, he did several imitations for Vicky. Of what? A guy drinking ice water? <laughs> no, it was one of these. Uh, one for the money, two for the show. Three get ready and go, cat, go! Go, go, go! <laughs> I know what it is, Rudy Valley. <laughs> Suppose I can prove Dennis Day was here. How? Show him the letter, sweetheart. What letter? The one... Well, you got a letter to Honey, me. we were talking about Dennis Day. Now, it isn't very nice to change the subject. You looking for something, dear? Honey, what'd you do with the record? What record? Honey, don't play games. They think I'm making up a big story. I know exactly what they think. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, darling. Wait, let me... Uh, read this. And he really was here, Vicky. Oh. I told you. <laughs> and they stood right there while they sang the duet. Go ahead, sweetheart. Oh, no, Gus, not in front of people. They're not people. 
The woman, George. When you smile at me, smile at me. Woman, George, you're late. It always happens when you take two cars. Enjoy the premiere. Oh, honey, I just loved it. <laughs> Hey, weren't you supposed to call Mr. Chase before 11.30? Oh, my gosh, I forgot. Oh, oh sweetheart, have you got a dime? Should have. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm... I'm terribly sorry. Oh, that's dark. I, uh... I hope nothing's broken. No, everything's fine, Mr. Er uh, Wyatt, Bob, uh, <laughs> Mr. O'Brien. <laughs> so you just, uh, just call me Hugh. I know you hear this from everybody, but I think you have the best Western show on television. Well, thank you kindly, ma'am. That's very nice of you. Is that your new album? Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Just made it uh, my first try at singing. Hugh O'Brien, TV's Wyatt Earp Sings. Wow. <laughs> very subtle title. I hear there are some wonderful songs in there. Well, thank you very much. My husband and I think you have the most beautiful voice. Your husband? <laughs> well, it, it's really been a pleasure meeting you. I hope I see you again sometime. Mm. Hi. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. The line was busy. I'll have to call back. Oh, Gus, he even looks better without his boots. <laughs> What? Honey, you'll never believe this. Oh, here comes Good evening, Gus. Let us join the angels again. Oh, all right. Well, Hi. Hi. All right. Glad you made it. Sure. Thank you. Happy now? We're going to take two cars again. Never. Nothing to delay. Thank you. Another reason we were late. Wilma's looking for movie stars. Didn't you see anybody? Not at all. Uh, honey, what were you about to say? I was going to say, you'll never believe this, but I'm not a bit hungry. <laughs> and I'll have a New York steak on the dinner with a short time. Got a date with an angel, going to meet her at seven. Got a date with an angel, and I'm on my way to heaven. Gentlemen, your Plymouth dealer invites you to watch the Lawrence Welk program Top Tunes and You Tell It on the same network. Tom Kennedy speaking. Good night, everybody.